This video is sponsored by PageProof. So let's get creative with showstopper moments, all right? My formula is about 85% keeping the message nice and clean and about 15% showstopper slides. It's one of those slides that makes the client go, ooh, when you present it for the first time. It's usually a complex animation or sequence that's used to introduce a product or concept or just illustrate something visually, right? I do this a lot. It's, just, it's my go-to thing. Um, you know, this is not, this is done right in Keynote. It's two images. It's a, a guy cut out and a mountain and just moving those, those two things in varying, um, varying degrees. It just creates kind of a nice little effect there. So let's just quickly, quickly, quickly build one here. Um, it's a pretty easy concept, but just seeing it done is pretty cool. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and take this image. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. And I'm doing all this with the trackpad because I'm amazing. <laughs> um, and I forgot to bring my mouse from home. All right, so let's send that to the back. So we have this nice long image, right? And we have this fake James, James Franco looking dude right here, right? And, oops. So um, in Keynote, one of the coolest things, easy to do to remove a background is instant alpha. You literally just click on it and the background's gone. Now, of course, I know you guys can see that horrible hair there. So the cool thing is, and it's not gonna get it perfectly, um, this is definitely a job for Photoshop. This, you know, there's a lot of hair there, but if you just, you see it's gone from percentage wise. So if you get it pretty good, you can, and you can go into his hair a little bit and kind of, you know, work on it a little bit, oops. So, you know, it's good enough for government. It's good enough when you're in front of, you know, 100 people right now and they're all looking at you, right? So let's move Mr. Franco right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate him just ever so slightly. So we're gonna go to move animation. Whoa, Mr. Franco, come back. <laughs> come back, come back. 126 hours. All right, that was bad, that was a bad show, sorry. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna change, we're gonna have him move a short distance in about six seconds, all right? So he's moving, you know, not too far. And we're gonna have, he's gonna to go to the left and we're gonna have the background go to the right. So we're gonna do the same thing, move, and we're gonna do that for six seconds as well. You want them to kind of do the same, but the background is gonna move further. So it kind of creates like a little, this little effect. So just like that, let's see how it looks. Come on, Mr. Franco. Oh, 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 no, up. Oh. wait. What I did not do is have them happen at the same time. Sorry, guys. Nobody's paying attention. Nobody's hearing me right now. It's good. All right. So hopefully this works. All right. There we go. So you see, yeah, right? Just a couple minutes, just a little thing, and you feel free to steal that, guys. Feel free to steal that. That's yours. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.